Hello, hello to you, people of the internet. Uh, Dom Lawson here. You might remember me from magazines back in the day. Uh, I've been uh, asked to do a thing, so that's good, an internet thing. Um, what I'm going to do today is unwrap the frankly astonishing new box set from uh, one of the greatest heavy metal bands of all time, Creator. I mean, I'm ballsing this up with the terrible lighting, aren't I, already? Hang on a second. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, it's darker, but better. Um, Creator. It's called Under the Guillotine. I think I'm going to have to turn it back on again. Mm, yeah, you know. It's already a hugely professional. Zero production values, folks. Don't you worry about that. Um, this is Creator's new box set, Under the Guillotine. Uh, it's astonishing. Um, basically, I have, to, I, don't, I don't have to explain a damn thing. I'm just a man with a beard talking about some records. Uh, but uh, just to qualify, I am an OG Creator fan. Here's my original copy of Pleasure to Kill uh, from 1986. There it is, everybody. Good, isn't it? Original, you know, in plastic, of course, to keep it uh, away from the plebs. Right, uh, so here we go. This is under the guillotine. It's still in the wrapping. In the wrapping, folks. I did have a knife. What have I done with that? Oh, there. there you go. Like I say, it's, it's ter terribly unprofessional stuff, but um, you'll get the general gist of what's in the box, which is the thing. You can uh, think what you like about my uh, mental disintegration, obviously. Right, so here we go. Let's remove this, uh, gently remove this uh, polythene, as we used to say. Cling wrap, if you prefer. Is that a word? Cling wrap. Good name for a band. Uh, so here we go. There is a label on the front you'll be interested here, and I'm going to read it to you now. Under the Guillotine, a deluxe box set collection of the Noise Records years. Now, Creator released six albums with Noise, um, I believe. And uh, I mean, they were and are one of my favourite thrash metal, but arguably my favourite thrash metal band of all time. Even more so than Megadeth. Um, just, you know, still consistently brilliant. Even the experimental albums are great, by the way. Uh, but this is about the fantastic early years and some of the best metal you're ever going to hear. So there's all six albums in here. There's a, a bonus demo cassette. I'm not into cassettes, but it's a nice thing to have, if you know what I mean. Uh, Violent Mind Demon Figurine USB, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, a hardback book uh, and a DVD movie. So, let's get involved. Right. Box. It's quite heavyweight. This because obviously because it's got at least six records in it. There you go. There's your box. Nice, uh, shiny. You know all your all your information on the back now. I've seen that comes off. It will do as soon as I get the chance. Uh, so there you go. Lovely. And uh, it opens as you would imagine a box would. Right. I suppose the first thing to do is to look at the lovely records, isn't it? So let's look at the lovely records. I mean, like I say that. You, you can't mess with this stuff. This is some of the best metal music ever made. So, uh, And of course, it's always worth noting that when Creator made Endless Pain, here's the, uh, the debut album from 1985, uh, Miller was 17, I think, 16, I think he was 16 when he made it. His mum had to sign the record contract, my favourite fun fact about Creator, because he wasn't old enough. Uh, so there we go, Endless Pain. Now they've restored all the original artwork on these, because uh, they did a reissue series fairly recently that included some of these albums. Uh, most, in fact, all of these albums, but um, they were they had new updated artwork, and uh, the purists kicked off by all accounts, which I'm not surprised because these are some of my favourite album covers. Endless pain there. Uh, now, what kind of vinyl are we, are we rocking here? Whoa, okay. I'm not going to tell you what these are called. You can just look at them. Does it matter if it's called, you know, strawberries and cream splatterfest, banana hatred? Uh, you know, who knows? Uh, but it's uh, this is lush. I think you'll agree. You probably you probably can't get there's a kind of sort of green hue to the yellow, but I'm not sure you can see that with my terrible uh, low production, but there's no production values in fact. So that's endless pain. Uh, this could take a while because there's six of them, but you know you're watching it. No one's forcing you to, are they? Uh, creator pleasure to kill. Now this is um, uh, you know I would say along with Rain in Blood and Seven Churches, this is like the key album mid '80s for all the extreme metal that followed really. You know, I mean, Endless Pain's important too, but Pleasure to Kill is just one of those records with an unbeatable atmosphere, and, you know, you couldn't replicate that now because it was a bunch of psychotic teenagers, you know. But, oh, that's nice. That is nice. That is nice, isn't it? There you go. Can you get a good... a good sousson of uh, the colour vibes? There you go. Nice. It's the same on the other side, as you can imagine. Uh, brilliant. All the original artwork, all the original brilliant photos and stuff of, you know, young people into heavy metal sticking their tongues out at cameras. Uh, there was a lot of that and middle fingers and stuff in the 80s. It was just one of those things. It's why to this day I find it difficult when somebody points a camera at me not to do that. Childish, but there you go. 
Terrible Certainty, the brilliant third album. Uh, probably not as celebrated as Pleasure to Kill, but just as important in its own way. Another fantastic bit of artwork there. This one's a corker, look at that. That's nice. See? That's a splatter, I believe. Or is it a, or is it a some, uh, something burst? I don't know. I don't know, kids. Look, it's got sort of silver and it's got red bits all over it. There you go. I'm not your fucking art teacher. Jesus. Right, so that's created several certainty. I have no idea how much this box is retailing for, by the way, but I can promise you it's worth it. Uh, one of, I mean, oh, my favourite creator album, one of the greatest thrash records of all time, top three for me. Uh, this is, I mean, they were already they were already established as you know one of the key European thrash bands by that point, number one really, arguably. Uh, but this album just that was it, done. There's not a bad track on it. It's an absolute raging classic from start to finish. And look at that, that's offensive, isn't it? Look at that. I'll, I'm calling that orange. It's probably called something else. It looks like orange to me. Orange and black. There you go. Fabulous. <coughs> I mean, that is that's the one I'm putting on in a minute. Not telling you that much. Is this exciting for you? Me putting records back into their sleeves? I hope it is. Coma of Souls, the uh, bombastic follow up to Extreme Aggression. Um, I mean, you know, another classic album basically. I won't have you know, people saying it's not as good. And isn't it? Oh, well, maybe, you know, Pound for Pound, Extreme Aggressions is the one, but this is uh, pretty damn close. And it's got People of the Lie on it. If you don't like know People of the Lie, go and listen to it now, really loud, and smash stuff up. I'm not endorsing smashing stuff up, by the way. I'm just saying it's something you might consider. Um, there you go. This is a sort of bluey, cobalty, bluey, grey silk. I have no idea. I think there might be something wrong with my eyes, but that's Coma of Souls anyway. I'm trying to get see if you can get a sense of the colour. Do you get a sense of it? It's because I've got no lighting. You know, this is an unprofessional operation, but that's a that's a, uh, a deliciously uh, new colour. I don't think I've got any of that, that, that colour. It does make me laugh, though. A lot of people seem to be collecting records like... Uh, you know, not to actually listen to them. Like, I thought, oh, I've got these 12 different variants of this album. You know, you could have bought 12 different albums with that money, just saying. Anyway, get a box set. That's the key to it. This is uh, the sixth and final album in the set. This is Renewal, uh, which got some stick at the time because obviously created kind of uh, incorporated some, I guess, industrial influences, isn't it? You know, there was elements of ministry and prong and things like that in some of it, but it was still a ripper. It's a great record. It actually stands up much better than you'd imagine. Oh, that's good. That's... Uh, very different on either side. I suspect your copy won't look exactly like this, by the way. Um, this, none of this is like a legal thing, you know, guaranteeing you the same colours. Uh, but that, those are the colours of the albums in my box set. So there you go. So that's that. What else have we got? There's loads in here. We Here we have the book, which is beautiful. Uh, it's Bringer of Torture, it says, which is nice. <laughs> oh, capturing the mood of the world. Uh, there you go, it's beautiful. I'm gonna just have a little look, I'll tell you about it. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of uh, sort of, I think it's quotes from Miller, tons and tons of photos from way back in the day. I think you to find a particularly good spread, as they say in the business. There's uh, the extreme aggression spread with a quite amusing picture of uh, somebody doing something funny. There you go. Oh, look, someone's sticking a middle finger up. Told you. Inevitable, really. In fact, it was Miller. There you see. <laughs> Classic. Um, so, yeah, it's brilliant. It's fabulous. It's uh, it's full of uh, lovely pictures. And it's a hardback thing. It's very glossy. It's not, fortunately, filled with absolutely pointless waffle like some previous reissues were. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you could beat a man to death with it if it was quite a small man. So, bear that in mind. Uh, what else? Here we go. This, now, I think this is the box of fun. This is what I'm talking about. Now, this is a... An additional box thing with other goodies in it. I think that's what we're surmising here. Uh, let me see, how do we open this? This could be embarrassing because, oh no, no, it's quite easy. Good. Thank God for that. Right, it opens like this. I was thinking it was going to be some kind of, uh, you know, trickery, like some kind of lament configuration vibe, but no. Uh, here we go. There's a box thing there. Look, ooh, look at that, spooky. Uh, that is a seed, a compact disc, folks. Uh, I want you to know it's a um, DVD. And it's called Some Pain Will Last. It's uh, It's got, let me know it. It's got From the Vault, mini documentary. And then uh, two live shows from Sweden and Germany from 89 and 86. Uh, another live show. I don't know why I said two and then another one. There's three live shows on it. Live in East Berlin, 1990, remixed by, of course, Andrew Sneap. 
Uh, yeah, so that's brilliant. Watch that. That's good. Is that is that something else there, or is that something? No, I think I think that's just the bottom of the box. All right, just checking. Here we. <laughs> this is the best bit. Let's be honest. This is what you're paying your money for. Here he is. Here he is. Uh, I can't remember what they called it on the box. What do they call it? Violent Mind Demon Figurine USB. Now I'm not entirely sure what's on this USB. I'll be honest with you, but um, you know, a link to the uh, the band's official merch store. I wouldn't be terribly surprised. Uh, I can't even open this out. There we go. That's how most people will be opening those. Um, still got all my own teeth, by the way. There you go. There he is. Can't see him down there, so uh, I'll put him there. But there he is. He's a little figurine. You see. He's also a USB because we live in the future now. Uh, there it is. So I'm going to stick that into my computer. No, I'm not. Actually, I'm not going to do that for reasons that I can't be bothered to explain. But uh, there you go. That's a USB. It's probably got stuff on it. Hopefully, all the albums in WAV format. <laughs> That's what I'm going to guess. Or in MP3 or whatever. And here's the cassette, which, are, which will never be unwrapped. I will tell you that now. This is the uh, original... Uh, Tormentor demo, end of the world from God knows when, 1984 or 3 or something. Uh, for all you cassette heads out there, don't buy it just for this cassette because honestly, as much as I applaud uh, the uh, attention to detail here, you know, there's some really good shit in this box, it's lovely, it's really classily made, cassettes are rubbish, so, you know. Wasn't worth bringing them back, folks. But anyway, there you go. Uh, so this is beautiful. This is, uh, I mean, pretty much if you... Uh, I know a lot of old farts like me will have these albums already, probably in multiple formats like I do. I've got them all on CD at least twice and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Oh, the original vinyl and reissues and all the rest of it. Um, but this is, the you know, the ultimate version of those first six albums. They all sound amazing, I imagine. I haven't listened to them yet, but, you know, we're reliably informed that they sound great. Um, the vinyl's all lovely colours. The artwork's all, I mean, it's pin sharp. It's fantastic. Uh, the whole box is lovely, beautifully put together. You know, okay, I got my copy for free, but but you know, it's uh, what else have you got to spend money on at the moment except for you know, PPE, really, and you know, biscuits. So uh, yeah, Creator is still one of the greatest metal bands in the world, uh, and this is one of the finest box sets you will ever have the uh, the fortune to get your hands on, if indeed you get your hands on it. I'm gonna did I put that on the wrong way around? Yeah, that's the wrong way around. Hang on, let me put it back on and show it to you once again, so that you know what it looks like when you go into the shop. Ah. Oh. Still, when you order it online, you're looking for this. I, su I suggest you uh, go to uh, whichever independent music retailer you're purchasing it from and uh, search for Creator. There you go. Under the guillotine. Thanks, folks. Uh, take care. Heavy metal. Stay safe. And uh, shrapnel. Video nasties. Cheers.